I'm Betty. And I'm Sue. And we're the we're Smith, Smith sisters. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, soon, uh, this, we'll go back to our original format. I'll be home within the next couple of weeks and we'll get all of our act together. But it's been fun. We've done it. It's been fun. Don't you think, Betty? Oh, yes, I do. I think it's been very good. And it's been a lot easier for you and I than we thought it was going to be. I right. think our director, producer, stage yeah. manager, has probably had more problems but it hasn't been bad at all no I hope and he, everybody had a good easter and passover and yes. we're now on to spring and yes we're getting ready uh, i agree and I, it sounds to me like the weather is just magnificent in michigan and i'd ask it, that you keep it that way until i get and after i get to town yes it's so. gorgeous right now just good. absolutely gorgeous I think it's 75. We were supposed to get rain, but it doesn't, you can't see it. Oh, we need it probably. Yeah. But the trees are just ready to pop, especially okay. we have a couple of apple, apple trees out here and that you can just see the flowers opening more from nighttime to morning. It's been a hundred percent difference. So, well, yeah, there's like spring. 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 Well, today yeah. I have, uh, the ball was in my court and I've taken another recipe from the Florida Fresh Recipe site that I've enjoyed so much. Uh, and this is tomato cornbread. And when I got into it, I thought, oh my goodness sakes, what have I done here? But it is just darn delicious. And this is all done in a cast iron skillet. And uh, I don't know if we've really ever talked about the benefits uh, of a cast iron skillet and the way Betty and I love a cast iron skillet and our mothers and grandmothers before us. But uh, it, it's just such a great uh, pan and you can do everything in it. And it really is pretty darn nonstick too. So anyway, what I've started out with my cast iron skillet today with a little oil and I chopped and sauteed a half a cup of onion and then I prepared the cornbread according to the package, the Jiffy cornbread package directions and added a half a cup of Monterey Jack cheese to the batter. Then I spread the batter out in the uh, skillet over the onion and then added a little more cheese uh, on the, over the batter and then two chopped tomatoes. And of course, right now here, we have beautiful Florida tomatoes. So I've chopped up two really nice ripe tomatoes and put that over the top of the batter and then baked it according to the cornbread mix directions about 19 to 20 minutes. And uh, when it was nice and golden brown, but the tomatoes seem to sort of stay on the top, which is really good. But so you get this, the sweetness of the cornbread that a bit of tartness of the tomato and then of course the cheese adds its own flavor too so uh baked it at 350 for about 20 minutes and and it is just delicious and as i've said i've already passed out a couple of pieces to my neighbors and uh they have not come back and knocked on my door that it wasn't any good so i think you'll enjoy it i think it'd be wonderful with salad soup chili whatever but it's the the tartness of uh, the tomato, the sweetness of the cornbread. It just comes together very nicely and it's very pretty. It might make you think a tiny bit of uh, the old uh, tomato pie that we had such a good time with. But, oh. but anyway, so I'm uh, anxious to get this recipe up and, and show it to you. So uh, simple, just cornbread mix and Monterey Jack cheese and onion. And tomatoes sprinkle on the top, and then you bake it according to the cornbread directions. So, then do the tomatoes just soak in? Well, they kind of stay on top, but they kind of come down a little bit. That concerned me a little bit, but it whatever it worked, it's worked out beautifully. And I've already given a piece sure. to two neighbors, so the, uh, my supply is dwindling. So, anyway, uh, so here it is. Here's the. Mmm, yeah, I can't, and I used, of course, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, our good Michigan company, wouldn't use anything else, so, yes, I think it's worth a try, everyone. Very good, it looks wonderful. Okay, that's my, that's my recipe for today. Well, very good. 
Yes, I have one here. It's a little late, but it's still a, a, a good one. It would have been better to have probably before Easter for those of you who, are, who were making deviled eggs. I suffer from peeling eggs after they are boiled and they make a big dip in the white of the egg. So I have found if you go to your local grocery store, you can buy eggs by our family, which is the grocery store the Alpine represents, or Eggos, and they're already hard boiled egg in a package. They last for 10 days. You take them out, you kind of wash them off, dry them a little bit, cut them into, pop your yolk out, and it's a very stress free devil egg. Um, egg making. Well, I started to make deviled eggs for Sunday and got into the same mess. Uh, and finally, I just peeled them. They were what they were. I turned it into egg salad and put it out with crackers. And that was my first <laughs> my order. And everybody loved it. So when I get the lemons, you can make lemon eggs. So, okay. Yeah. Well, it can be very stressful during that. Well, so yeah. No. Next time, just buy them in the package. I think it's right. Eggo brand or egg. Eggland. Egg, egg, yeah. Egg yeah, but it's kind of in the egg. deli section or, yeah. Yeah, okay. buy, the, buy the eggs. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, all right. Well, you're going to start your packing to add home, are you? Well, I want to tell you how far I've come. I've put my air fryer in its box. Well, very good. <laughs> so I, you're ready to go. <laughs> I'm I'm making progress, so, but uh, I'm trying to eke out these last days at the pool and exercising a bit, and uh, so yeah, it, I'm anxious to see my peeps. That's for sure. So, anyway, but we'll be back on this next week uh, before I come home, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll be back on. Okay. Okay. Very good. Well, it was good talk, seeing everyone again. Right. Have a nice day. I'm Betty. I'm Sue. We're, We're the, the sisters. sisters. <laughs>